A long time ago, I got recommended a show, a very famous show that you guys might know, called Attack on Titan. I watched maybe the first two or three episodes, and then I felt at that time that they were doing this thing called mystery boxes, where they create a lot of questions that the writers themselves don't even have any answers to. So I quit on the show. That was a very long time ago, maybe 10 years ago or something like that. But I have been convinced by the thousands and thousands and thousands of people I've talked to about Attack on Titan that it's worth giving it another shot, that there are payoffs for the big questions. And so today I'm very happy to begin the Attack on Titan reaction series. We're going to start with a sub, just because that seems to be the consensus that that's better. And then we'll see what happens as time goes on. All right, enough talking. Let's, let's watch it. I'm very excited. Here we go. Opening shot. Very peaceful. It's funny knowing what's coming. There he is. Sonohi. I don't think that wall's gonna cut it. Wow. The music is beautiful. <laughs> so cool. I'm already noticing how beautifully this is animated. Just the framing of the shots and everything. But it's the opening episode, you gotta make a strong impression, right? Is this quality gonna last? Takes the power. Nice! Show him the power of humanity. Give him a taste. <laughs> Man, this song. This takes me back. It's so great. I know all the words, especially the part where they say Jaeger a lot. Yes. Damn, I'm having so much nostalgia right now for this. I remember being so pumped the first time I started the show. I think I'm even more pumped now. I've never seen the lyrics. The translation, I mean. Damn, I'm getting chills. My palms are sweaty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so I'm already sort of like having thoughts about the themes of the show. First, I think a lot of the time when you see the idea of like, what is humanity, right? And threats posed to humanity. The underlying question is, what are the things that make humanity great when you strip away all the non-essentials? Because I think in times of peace, we sort of forget where we came from and the actual threats that exist to us and the threats that exist from, from a natural state. So a lot of times shows like this or, or villains like this or whatever, they're a chance to explore what are the finer points, the most resilient points about humanity. Also, the walls thing is super interesting. I'll have to see where that goes, but it could be like hiding from the world or hiding from the truth. There's something that feels like denial about that. You know what I mean? We're safe, we're protected, which is something we do in our personal lives with thinking, but it's also things we do in communities. And one way we keep those walls built around us to keep us from examining those things that are terrifying is by creating threats or amplifying existing threats to justify not going out beyond the walls. Now, these are actually real monsters, like these titans. I don't even know if they're actually called titans, but I suspect there's going to be a lot more behind it. I'll just have to wait and see. It's been like 30 seconds. I'm sorry. To you in 2000 years, the fall of Shiganshina part one. Mikasa. Eren. Was that a childhood flashback or something? Year 845, Shiganshina District. God's great wisdom, huh? Interesting. You don't need to go to the doctor for crying in your sleep, or do you? Hannes. <laughs> At least they enjoy themselves behind the walls. Yeah, alright, so they're like lulled into a sense of complacency. I guess it's been a while. That could never happen, of course. This kid needs a drink. He needs to relax a little bit. <laughs> right, 100 years. That makes sense. Dr. Jaeger, huh? This kid's very principled. That's true. 
まるで家畜じゃないか。<laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's already a first look at Aaron, right? He's very principled. Also, I'm pretty, pretty sure that the walls are something more than just walls keeping out titans, judging by the fact that he has a strong desire to live life outside of them. It's really weird watching this and hearing all these talks about walls because this is literally my life. Like, this room is my life. It's been my life for forever. And I'm growing, like, increasingly frustrated by that. It's no life at all. But I think people would have different opinions on this. I think that some people actually would prefer this peaceful life, you know? The illusion of safety. Not thinking about the danger beyond the walls. Just the way that life is, you can't stay safe no matter what. There's no real hiding from danger. It's just sort of a denial of it. That's why we need people like Aaron, you know? Break the boundaries. I'm already connecting to him on some level. <laughs> Yeah, he loves it. I guess we put all our animation budget in that opening. And in the intro. <laughs> Just some still shots for now. Is that Soren? Yikes. <laughs> It. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be like a coffin or something. Don't, why would you give her that? I guess there's something to be said for honesty. It feels extra bad that these people are so complacent with these people risking their lives. There you go. This guy's breaking. Damn. I'm gonna make a prediction about this show. It's gonna be sad. <laughs> it's gonna be sad and violent. Hopefully there's some inspiration mixed in there as well. It can be both, I guess. I'm trying to make myself feel better about that scene. Even failure is useful. Failure can inform success, so... Let's think positively. Maybe your son served as some kind of inspiration, you know? Yikes. He really needs her. Set him straight, Mikasa. Mikasa seems pretty level-headed. She seems like she's holding things together emotionally for her and Eren. He's a dreamer. Yeah. なにも知らずに一生壁の中で過ごすなんて嫌だ。ここで誰も続く人がいなかったら、今までに死んだ人たちの命が無駄になる。船の時間だ。なあ、he She's already doing that. What the heck? She's terrifying. She really is holding things together in so many ways. Armin. Yeah, it's easy to have these petty little fights in peacetime. I'm sure that'll all change when they get attacked on Titan. It's somewhat easy to side with Eren because he's on the side of people who are making great sacrifices. I mean, the ultimate sacrifices. To try to improve the condition for everyone, and other people seem to be sort of dismissive of that. So I understand his outrage. But also there's an extra layer of outrage to what he said. Judging other people as being sheep or whatever. I think it's reasonable just to expect most people to just care about their daily realities. That's sort of how it is, right? Like, we place a lot of expectations on each other to, you know, sort of be experts at everything and to care about everything. But for most people, I mean, just about for everyone, it makes sense why you would focus more on your daily reality than on you know, a perceived threat or some, some perceived greatness or something like that. Seems like the, there's an ethos that forms against people trying to improve things. The royal government. How do you make interest a taboo? Maybe that's true. And something tells me it's about to happen. What was that? 
This thing didn't just walk up though. There was that big flash of light or whatever. He just kicked through the wall? I thought he was gonna climb over it. That body though, it's so bizarre. That was easy. Oh no. Right, I remember this. There you go. Stepping up. Nice, I like that. I like that it actually shows up. Come on, Hans. Yeah, that makes more sense. Damn. He was already crazy about this, now it's something else. Yeah, that was super heroic of the mom. This is one of the most horrific things I've ever seen. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I had totally forgotten that happened. <laughs> when I saw her trapped, I remembered that she died, but I didn't remember it happened like that. There's no going back for Eren now. He was already on that path, and now seeing that just justified all his beliefs and probably just fueled burning passion for destroying these things or freeing humanity or whatever. Like it was already personal and it just got so much more deeply personal. There's something so real about the whole thing that speaks to me. The idea of like, well, it hasn't happened for a hundred years, now we're safe, right? People forget, like we forget where we come from. We, we forget risks. We kind of fool ourselves into complacency, like thinking that things can't go wrong, but things always go wrong. And sometimes it's the things we think we're most protected from that pose the greatest threat. In good times, we fight about such petty things, like we end up squabbling about whatever, politics or this or that. But in doing so, we forget that there are sort of like built in intrinsic threats that are way bigger and way deeper that we've forgotten just because we've like enjoyed prosperity for a certain amount of time like in this episode you see people fighting about the ideology of scouts and is it worth it and the government is like regulating belief or whatever but all that just gets thrown out the window as soon as that titan kicks through the wall i'm way more impressed by the first episode this time around i think i like felt it deeper this time maybe because i'm older now and maybe because i've been focusing on media through these reaction series and the music and some of the animation is so beautiful it's so breathtaking i feel like there's a lot that they can do there's a lot of places they can go and a lot of ideas they can explore. And that's something I didn't think about the first time watching. I think the first time watching it, I'm like, monsters, you know, <laughs> fight the monsters. But there are going to be points that this show brings up. And I'm really excited to see where that goes. Before the video ends, on a more positive note, I gotta give a huge thank you to all my patrons for all the support. And a special shout out to those who joined the top tier this week, Luciano Prado and Carlos Salazar. A huge thank you to all my patrons for the constant support. It's you guys who make this possible. If you're watching this on YouTube, videos are one week ahead on Patreon, so check that out if you're interested. Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Attack on Titan Reaction. I'll see you guys very soon for either the next episode of this show or Full Metal Optimus Brotherhood.